Cook Eat is proudly sponsored by Board Bia and StopFoodWaste.ie. Welcome to Grow, Cook, Eat. Each week we're growing one star vegetable and we'll show you how easy it is to get from pot to plate. No matter how much time, space or experience you have, it's amazing what you can grow with just a little effort. You learn all the tips and tricks to growing glorious greens in the garden. So what are we waiting for? Let's get growing. This week is all about tomatoes. We're going to take it from planting on a frosty February morning right through to harvest. We'll also be talking about the importance of soil fertility. And I'll be checking out a local producer who's taken tomato growing to a whole new level. There's nothing like harvesting your own veg. And Jack Kerwin from Sprout & Co is going to show us a trio of things you can do with those tasty homegrown tomatoes. These smell and look absolutely delicious. Don't they though? And I know you're a big fan of growing tomatoes. I yeah. think you have something like 70 tomato plants growing at home. 75, 75 to be specific. I want you to taste one of these. So these are the little cherry tomatoes that we grow. And if this tastes different. anywhere near as good as it smells, honestly, it's going to be... Yeah. Yeah. So it's like a little sweet, like, mm -hmm. and that's what they should be like. All of that intense sugars inside it that just give it that amazing flavour. And the total varieties, like, look, there's massive ones, there's different coloured ones around the place. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. You get so you get to experience all the different, you know, sizes, shapes, colours, tastes, all that. It's okay. just it's an amazing diversity. So, of stuff. where does one start? Journey to this lusciousness started all the way back in a wintry February. So check this out. We're going to be planting a few varieties over the next few weeks, but today we're focusing on my favourite, Sun Gold. And before we can get them into the greenhouse, Mick is going to run me through the basics of good seed sowing. So the key with starting these off, right, is just overfilling the tray. Okay. So if you want to get stuck in there, Karen. Yeah, to the other um, side. Completely overfill, right, like we've got twice as much as we need, basically. Kind of work it into all the corners. And then what I generally do is give it a Give it a bang on the table like that. To which settle it down. You can see how oh, far yeah, it settles crikey. down in there. So that means you don't have any big air pockets in there, which is a little tiny tomato seed fall down in between it. And gone. And it's not going to germinate. No growth. Yeah? Okay. So we've got that done. This is my most valued piece of equipment in the garden. A little bit of, a bit of a stick, right? And what we use that for is just to, to sort of saw off the excess. the excess like that. And you get a nice kind of flat surface across the top then, yeah? Okay. So that's ready to go. Good, good, good. What we do is we make a little indentation in each of the modules with your fingers. We all have this little groove in our in our hands here. Yeah. Yeah. And then what I do is I use that to sort of oh, cool. get them all in a row. And there we go. So we just drop it off the edge. Just one per per module. Absolutely. One per module. Right now this is the this is the little trick. So because we've we've done them down into the indentation, what we do is just come along, overfill it again and then use our little, our little stick to kind of chop it off the second time. Don't forget to keep your tray moist and in a warm, sunny spot. With a bit of luck, you should see the seeds germinate in about 10 days. It's seven weeks later, and while we've seen lots of change with our tomatoes, the weather outside hasn't changed at all. Okay, what have we got you, here? You look really cold. Oh, I'm freezing, hurry up. So we've got our tomato plants that, are, that we sowed back in February. And yep. they're looking in pretty good nick. With tomato plants, I, is you're often kind of just moving them on into bigger pots to kind of hold them there for another couple of weeks and grow on, right? So... Is this so that we're really protective and mindful of the roots and the stem? Yeah, well, okay. the tomato plants themselves, the seedlings are very tender. So if you plant them out too early into, the t into a polytunnel or a greenhouse or a glasshouse, uh, they're just going to die off. Oh, yeah, okay. We so so we what we're going to do... Yeah, we don't want that. So what we're going to do is just plant them into the pots leave them in the pots for another four to six weeks to grow on and then they'll be then big and hardy ready to go out into the into the ground yeah okay so again just as deep as the plug that's yeah there. so just exactly that and and then just firm it in it's a really simple thing with tomatoes you don't need to be worried about sowing them or planting them too deep because the roots will actually form along this stem here wherever it's underneath the soil basically okay and so we give them a little water when we're finished and then they'll be We'll be keeping them inside nice and toasty for another four to six weeks. Perfect. Can we go inside and get I nice think and toasty? We should.
It's planting day and I've had lots of time to get the grow cookie greenhouse ready for its first lot of plants. Oh, whew, toasty. It's nice and warm in here, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely. And that's the thing about growing, growing any of these tomatoes, peppers, aubergines and stuff. They need this heat, like Mediterranean climate. So that's what this glass house is all about, creating a little kind of microclimate of Sardinia right here. <laughs> oh, I wish. But really important with tomato plants that you get them good and deep. Okay. So they go like deep roots down to that kind of a depth. When the plant is kind of laden down with fruit, they tend to fall over and get too heavy and stuff. So this is an ideal thing. It's just a simple garden twine hanging down and we've got a, a bit of wire going across from side to side that, that this is attached to them, yeah? And we're doing three things at once. We're planting the plant, we're putting the support in place, and then we're gonna use this pot for watering into it. Make the hole wide enough so that we can also get get our pot in here. Okay, okay. so make the make the one hole for the for the pot and the plant. Exactly. Okay. So we, I use the use the pot to kind of hold down the twine like that, and then we get our plant and we put that in and get to firm this in. It's probably a two person job actually. Intent. <laughs> <laughs> Help me, please, Karen. Yeah. Give it a good lean on it, yeah. You want to, to get it really nice and tight, so you can see the way then. The wire is, is, is going there, going to grow up and it'll, we'll be able to attach it to that. And then our watering is going to be into this, into this pot. So we need to be about 50 centimetres apart, so a little bit further over. We're going to be taking, hopefully, tomatoes out of this plant from July until possibly even as late as November. OK, good. Labels so, in, deadly. Labels in. Do we need to water these now? So they will need about 10 litres of water a week each. Wow, OK, that's a um, lot of watering. But we've created a great, a really good way of watering them here, as opposed to spraying the plant. Fill that up with water and you, you're getting water right down to the roots, which is great. So this is fantastic, but I am going to give another variety a go. They're called Tumbling Toms, yeah. and you can grow them in hanging baskets. I'm all about being able to grow in containers, because we don't all have space for this. Instead of them growing up like a vine tomato, they're going to tumble beautifully out over their hanging baskets. So this little plant will produce 250 little little cherry tomatoes, so it's really it's prolific. Because like it's easier. As long as it's healthy. You're not allowed to do that. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> so just, you don't need to fill it right up to the top. Oh, OK, you can have that one then. Potting compost is what you need, something that's got a bit of food in it, particularly tomatoes, really hungry, really thirsty plant. So you can see lovely, lovely root system on this. So these are really healthy little plants. Nice. And also don't like just pull it out of the pot, just yeah, ease it out. Ease, ease it, it out, out of the pot. Thing to watch with, with any, anything growing in, in a container, but particularly tomatoes, as I said, they're going to need lots of water. Once they start producing fruit, you're going to need to feed them with a tomato feed every couple of weeks as well. So you get the most out of it. They're going to get lots of lovely sunshine here. Need to keep an eye on them to make sure that they stay uh, nice and hydrated. And in a matter of weeks, we'll have lovely tumbling toms cascading down over the basket, ready to harvest. Talking to other growers is a great way to pick up tips and tricks. With that in mind, I'm paying a visit to a grower just down the road who's growing tomatoes on a whole other scale. This place is just unbelievable like what sort of scale are we looking at here so what we have is one hectare make of modern glass uh, and we have 47,000 tomato plants oh my god six different varieties ranging from like these big tomatoes down to very small little mini plums yeah so there are you know we're covering trying to cover all aspects of the market and you know keep everybody happy why are they growing from side to side as opposed to up here what's going so, on so there? the plant our plant comes in in january and it's about a foot tall and so every week after that, it begins, begins to grow up to a foot a week. Yeah. So obviously, when you look at the glass house we have, it's only a, we have about four meter space for the plant to grow. You don't, it doesn't take long to fill that four meters. So what we do is we, what, we, what they call is layering the, layering the crop. Okay. So it actually moves forward along the row. And you can see that benefit of the, yeah. of the stem moving in, in, in parallel to the floor. OK. Um, that's just a, the, the easy way of training the crop. And it keeps the head of the plant up in the sunlight and that's the most important part because we, we need direct sunlight onto the crop in the young part of the plant. Okay. What are the key things for people growing toma a few tomato plants at home? Well I suppose you know a tomato plant doesn't like to be, get, get cold so don't plant them or sow them too early in the year. Yeah. You know wait till it kind of miles up a little bit um, and then when you when you do plant your plants it, the best trick to do is to, is to feed them all the time. A little, yeah. Don't give them plain water. And you know that'll you know main, make sure that the nutrient balance is good all the time, okay. and you'll get maximum growth. So David, we're 
standing here in front of what looks to me like a compost bin full of very edible tomatoes. What's, yeah. what's well, going on here? Well, this is the downside of, you know, like the, we're all looking for a perfect fruit, yeah. perfect production, you know, but uh, a fruit like that is, you know, it's, it's perfectly edible, but it doesn't conform to specification. So it's, uh, okay, it's, so it's condemned, you know. Just let's take a minute to consider that. Like all of these beautiful tomatoes here, because they're a little bit knobbly and a bit, you know, bit interesting yeah, looking, yeah. will we'll not get into the supermarket. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Which yeah, is yeah. shocking, like yeah. they're perfectly good, amazing taste, I'm sure. Yeah, but the yeah. good the good news is all of this stuff will get composted. Yeah, yeah, is, for sure. Everything, all the plant material, you see yeah. that this is, these, these are the side shoots from the plant yeah. and all the leaf material, we take it away, it's composted and it's returned to the land. So it's uh, it's sustainable. So like as consumers, I think this is the really important part. Like we, we, have, a, we have a role to play here. We can go into a supermarket and we have a choice between an Irish tomato that's, you know, a brilliant product, really fresh, as you say, it's on the shelves within, what, 48 hours? 48 hours, hours yeah, yeah, yeah. Very from, little from food miles. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Very yeah. sustainably yeah. grown, yeah. incredible focus on sweetness and diversity and varieties exactly. and all that good stuff. Exactly, yeah. And, and also yeah. supporting local jobs. Sponsored by stopfoodwaste.ie and Bort Bia.